Since around the 8th century, Christians have been setting aside one day every year to celebrate all of the saints that have gone before us, all of the people that we have loved and we have lost. We call this All Saints Day. And Halloween is actually a spin-off of this celebration. Uh, Halloween has the same root, hallow, which means holy. And so Halloween is All Hallows' Eve, which means the eve of the celebration of all that are holy. But rather than celebrating death like we do on Halloween, on All Saints' Day, we celebrate life. It's also the day that we remind ourselves that we are a part of, as one biblical writer puts it, the great cloud of witnesses. Dorothy Day was a Catholic reformer that lived in the last century. And she once said, Our lives are touched by those who lived centuries ago. And we hope that our lives will mean something to the people who won't be alive until centuries from now. It's a great chain of being, someone once told me. And I think our job is to do the best we can to hold up our small segment of the chain. You know, sometimes I think that in order to be a saint, we have to be dead. But if we look closely, there are saints all around us. Who are those people in your life whose, whose lives you deeply admire, whose faith you respect and maybe even envy? Who are those saints in your life? There's a great hymn that has the line that says, All of them were saints of God, and I mean God willing to be one too. Those saints in your life have the same blood running through our veins, and the same light that shines in them, it shines in us. You see, we are a part of that great chain of being, that great cloud of witnesses. So before we gather this week, I invite you to to think about some of the saints in your life. And come, let's worship together and, and celebrate those that we have loved and that we have lost. And let's be inspired by them to be our best saintly selves.